What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Frames Yanklin Vapor channel. Back at you guys for another review. This time we're going to be doing something a little different than what's uh, been popping up on the channel here recently. Not only is it a regulated mod, but it is a regulated squonker. That's right guys, we are talking about the Top Side Duel by Davpo and TVC, the Vapor Chronicles. Of course, Duel 18650, 200 watt device. Uh, of course, it does 1 to 12 volts, all that good stuff. So what we'll do... So we'll jump down to the down low, show you guys the ins and outs of the packaging, all that good stuff. Give you a closer look at the uh, menu system and how to, you know, change between different modes and all that. Then what we'll do is we'll throw an atomizer on top, jump back up top, give you guys pros, cons, and all that good stuff. So with that being said, thank you guys for joining me, and we'll catch you guys in the down low. See you there. All right, guys, here we are down low with the top side duel by Davpo and, of course, TVC, as you can see right there. Right here, it says 10 mil top fill. You got dual 18650, 200 watts, goes from 1 volt to 12 volts, and it also has all your TCR from nickel, titanium to stainless steel as well. Of course, right here on the bottom, you've got your color indication, and with great power comes great simplicity. Very nice. So that is the front of the packaging there. On this side, you have a TVC creation designed by the Vapor Chronicles. And on this side, you have Davpo and all of the, your package contents as well. As you can see, one top side dual box mod, two 10 mil squonk bottles, one accessory bag, one micro USB, one battery usage warning card, and one user's manual. And of course, here on the back, it's got a little bit of uh, some images here showing you how to install and take out your bottle there of course as you can see and of course your scratch and check authenticity down here so we'll go ahead and take this sleeve off right here on the front of the package you've got Davpo TVC creation of course top side dual inside of the packaging here you've got your QC uh, certificate right here from Davpo quality control approved of course as you can see Next one, you've got your you or your user's manual here. Very small user's manual, all in English, but it has everything you need in there. It tells you how to switch back and forth between your modes and all that good stuff right there, as you can see. Nice little booklet style too, so props on that. Of course, you've got your battery usage warning card here. Of course, if your battery does not have a wrap or an insulator, do not use it. If it does not have an insulator, do not use it. And yeah, guys, if you got any tears or wrinkles, guys, just replace them. Just rewrap those batteries so they look just like this, nice and pristine. That way you don't have anything to worry about. And of course, uh, you got a nice little letter here from Brian, you know, talking about the, the top side and all that stuff. So if you guys want to check that out, this is also in the package as well. Of course, on this side of the box, you've got your extra 10 mil squonk bottle here. Top fill, of course. Comes with a nice little cap as well to seal it up if you're going to take it with you on the go. Just pops off just like that and pops right back in. So a nice little travel bottle for you. Take two of them with you and it's got the sled on it ready to go. So you just take the other one off, pop your cap off of this one and slide this right in the mod and you're good to go. So set that off to the side here. And up here at the top of the box, you've got your bag of spare screws for your squonk bottle and also an allen key for those as well guys as you can see it is to replace the two screws at the top of the bottle that holds that together right there also micro usb here too guys for firmware updates and uh charging if uh you like to do so but i suggest always take your batteries out and charge them on an external charger that way you don't have anything to worry about you know getting your chip fried or you know anything like that any mishaps you're just better off taking it out and charging your batteries on external charger and of course here it is guys the top side dual in black as you can see here got a nice clicky fire button right there nice size as well clicky up and down buttons for your wattage or voltage adjustments here as well nice spring loaded 510 up there at the top of course you got top side dual right here and then you've got your cap for your top fill method Nicely knurled as well, it gives you a nice bit of grip. Haven't had any issues with that whatsoever. And of course, you got these two little plugs that plug in, plug up your two fill holes there as well. Nice size fill holes as well, guys. So once you, f you can fill it up from one side, the other side lets some air out so you don't get that vacuum thing going. You start spitting out everywhere. 
Nice size holes as well. Haven't had any issues filling this up at all. Spring loaded on this cap too, guys. So you might have to push down to get it to thread in. And then once you get it, find those threads, you're good to go. Of course, down at the bottom here, you got your battery door with your battery indications. You got negative on this side and positive on this side, A and B will be uh, how you tell which battery is which on the uh, battery indication in the menu. Of course, right here, you've got this nice little indentation right here at the bottom of the bottle, so you can go ahead and pull that bottle right out. And of course, as you can see right there, there's your bottle, of course. Nice silicone bottle on the inside as well. Nice sled, and literally all you do is just slide it right into the tracks on this thing, push it up firmly, and then you're good to go. So of course, we'll go ahead and throw some batteries in here real quick so we can show you the menu. So get your negative there, positive there, just like it's indicated down here. Close it up and it turns right on. So of course, as you can see right off the bat, it is at 12 volts, which is the maximum voltage and it will go all the way down to one volt as well. So I'll go ahead and show you that real quick. Bam, just like that, one volt. And if you want to switch back and forth between menus, what you're going to do is you're going to hold the left key, left adjustment button and the fire button. And as you can see, it brings you right into your menu screen here. First one up at the top is power, voltage, temp nickel, temp titanium, temp stainless, TCR, your status bar, and of course, exit down at the bottom, which will bring you back to your main screen here. So of course, left button will go down right button is going to make it go up of course as you can see you've got your variable wattage right here this is what's going to tell you what mode you're in so of course vw stands for variable wattage you've got your battery indication up there like i said a and b so that way you can tell what the charge is on either your batteries you've got your wattage your amperage right below that and of course your voltage and whenever you switch this from variable voltage to variable wattage the volts and the watts just literally swap places i'll go ahead and show you real quick So as you can see now the volts are up here, wattage is down here, and of course amps and resistance stay the same. To lock it, what you're going to do is you're going to hold both of your up and down keys at the same time, and it's going to lock it so nothing will happen, it will not go up, it will not go down, anything like that. And if you want to unlock that, you're just going to hold them both down once again, boom, unlocked. And yeah, that's it guys. So like I said, if you want to lock it, you hold them both down, that will lock it to unlock it do the same thing to get into your menu you're going to hold the left and click your fire button just like that that'll get you into your menu screen and you can go up and down using the left or right buttons as you can see right here guys so that's pretty much it for the uh, menu system there's not a whole lot different than many other things that are going on out there of course as you can see right here in temperature control mode you have your uh, whatever you, the degrees is that you set your coil to you got your amperage your wattage and your resistance right there and that's how it will be in all of your temperature control settings so with that being said guys we're going to go ahead and switch this back into voltage mode because that's how i've been preferring to run this right here i'm going to turn that back down to about 3.7 volts which is about what i've been running at with this specific build that i've got going today 3.7 volts there you go we'll go ahead and screw our atomizer on top of course i am using the og squonk recoil right here and the nice black finish which just looks really nice on top of this thing here as well as you can see just like that so what we're going to do guys is we're going to jump back up top give you guys pros cons all that good stuff so with that being said we'll see you guys up there and here we are guys up top with the top side duel by davpo and tvc the vapor chronicles so of course as always guys we'll start with our pros and we'll work our ways to our cons the first pro that I've got for this thing here, guys, is just the uh, nice clicky buttons. Not only is the fire button nice and clicky, but the uh, up and down buttons are nice and clicky as well. Haven't had any issues with them whatsoever. And I got to say, I personally just like a nice clicky button. There's nothing more satisfying than a nice clicky button. So I will say that's going to be a pro for me. Also, the fit and finish, guys, the coating that they've got going on this is, uh, I really enjoy it. It's got a little bit of a texture to it, so it gives you a nice little bit of grip to it. And I don't see it, I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. It doesn't seem like it's coming off in any spots. So I will say the fit and finish on this thing is uh, definitely up to par as well. 
one of my biggest pros on this thing guys is does it have variable voltage which is something that we're not seeing in a lot of devices nowadays you, you they get your variable wattage tcrs and stuff like that but a lot of people haven't been doing that variable voltage which is uh something i personally enjoy because i'm a mech guy so i know what my uh builds perform at at a certain voltage so sometimes i just go through and i set my uh, depending on what mod I'm using, I'll just set it to either you know 4.2 volts or 3.7, depending on what kind of build I've got going in it. And I love the fact that they got the variable voltage going in the same because I've absolutely been loving uh, rocking this thing in variable voltage. Of course, you've got your variable wattage and all your TCRs and everything else as well. But I do love the fact that they put that variable voltage in there. So that's a huge, huge pro for me as well. One thing that's a big pro for me too, guys, is uh. It goes in 0.5 increments instead of 0.1 increments. And of course, it does just 1 watt increments once you get above 100 watts. So I love that because there ain't nothing worse than having to sit here and click 10 times just to get 1 watt when you can just do 2 clicks just to get up there depending on where you're at in your wattage range. If you're up in that hundreds, it's just 1 click per watt. And if you're anything below that 100 mark, it's 2 clicks for a full watt. So... We'll say I do like the fact that they went ahead and did that 0.5 instead of the 0.1 because I hate sitting here and having to click a dozen times just to get, you know, 10 uh, watts up or anything like that, or just to move one watt up. So like the fact that they did that on this as well. And also, guys, just the dis this display on this thing, super simple, super easy. It's got everything you need, nothing, you know, extra on there, none of that puff counters and stuff like that. Because me personally, I, I never use those anyways. All I want to see is what my batteries are at, what voltage I'm at, amperage, resistance, all that stuff. And they got that all handled here. You've got everything you really need to know right here on this this, this screen. And very easy to read to you guys. Uh, so I will say big pro on this, the simple display that they've got going here. Um, also, another huge, huge pro for me, guys. Um, of course, I never had the original top side. This is the only version that I've had. But for a dual battery squonker, this thing gets some pretty banging battery life, guys. I'm rocking a 0.12, like I said, 3.7 volts, which is about 111 watts. And I literally can get a full day of vaping out of this thing, no problem. So I will say battery life on this, uh, I will say, is definitely a pro because you can get a good amount of vapor a uh, good amount of vaping out of this thing before you have to change your batteries but that's all really dependent on what wattage you're running it at what your resistance is and all that stuff so but i will say with running a you know pretty low build like a 0.12 like i am in this you know high wattage uh like i said i can get a full day out of it so battery life is definitely a pro for me as well now now it's time to get to the cons i have a few cons on this thing not not Many of them may be deal breakers to some people, but there's just a couple things I wanted to point out. Um, one thing that's kind of a con for me is I'm not sure how I feel about the hand feel on this thing. Um, I still can't figure out exactly how to hold it to make it feel comfortable in my hand. Sometimes, you know, I just, I've been rocking it, thumb firing it, and it's, it's kind of comfortable, but I feel like it's kind of bulbous in certain spots um, I definitely think the original top side the single battery is definitely more sleek but I understand why this is how it is you know fitting two batteries in it uh, kind of makes these bulges out on the sides here uh, compared to the original top side but yeah I'm just not sure how I feel about it guys um, I'm not a hundred percent in love with how it fits in the hand um, but yeah, like I said, that may be a con for some people, may not be for others. But me personally, I'm not a huge fan with how this fits in the hand. Um, and another another huge con for me is, um, I don't know if you guys can see this, but you see that? There is a gap underneath the side of my, about a millimeter gap all the way around on this OG recoil. And um, there are some atomizers, not only this one, but a few others that I have in my collection that have like one or two more threads than you know most of the other atomizers that are out. And they will not sit flush on this thing, no matter how hard I try. I don't want to screw it down any tighter and ruin that 510. But you know, this is as far as I can get it down right here, guys. And I still got that millimeter gap. So that's gonna be a con for me because uh, I really would love for this to sit nice and flush on top of this because I do love this atomizer and I've been loving this, you know, this whole combination with the OG recoil on top of the top side. I've been really enjoying it, but I really, really, really wish that this thing just sit flush on there. But just to go ahead and show you guys, that's the OG recoil. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Goon 25 here and screw it on top and show you guys that this does sit n nice and flush on top of here just like that absolutely no gap at all as you can see 
But yeah, if you're going to be using like an uh, OG recoil or something like that, that may have one or two extra threads or have a little bit longer of a 510 than uh, some of your other atomizers, you may end up having that little bit of a gap underneath your RDA. So that's going to be a con for me as well, guys. Um, but other than that, one more pro that I forgot to mention, the top fill method, guys, and 10 mil uh, juice capacity is absolutely banging in my opinion. Uh, super easy to fill, no mess at all. You literally unscrew the top, fill it up, screw it back on, and you're good to go. Taking your bottle in and out is super easy as well with that little notch that they put in there. Uh, so yeah, the top fill method on this is definitely a huge pro, but like I said, cons-wise, the hand feel, not 100% sure about. I don't know how I feel about it. Can't figure out which way I want to hold it, what hand to put it in. Like I've been going back and forth trying different ways, and I'm just not in love with it. Uh, and also... This atomizer not sitting flush is going to be a con for me too. But a lot of my other other atomizers do sit flush, but I just really wish that this one did. So I just wanted to point that out to you guys, just in case you do want to, you know, throw an OG recoil or something like that on top of it, and you have that little bit of a gap. That's what's going on there, guys. It may have one or two more threads on the 510, or just a longer 510 in general than some other ones. So that's just something to keep note of. But other than that, guys, I think this is a pretty solid product. Like I said, the battery life is on point. Uh, I can get a full day of vaping out of this thing at 100 watts, no problem. Of course, uh, yeah, the fill method, banging. You can't beat it, guys. Top fill. It's, it takes all the messiness out of squonking, in my opinion. You literally unscrew that thing, juice it up, screw it back on, and then you're off and on your way, not having to worry about, you know, cleaning off your bottle and all that stuff when you're putting it back in. So definitely, definitely a huge pro. So just with the battery life, you know, uh, the variable voltage mode and the top fill method is just absolutely banging, guys. So I would definitely suggest this. That being said, guys, thank you guys for joining me for the review. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Of course... Checking in with Janklin. We'll be back here on Friday, guys, for that pre stew warm up. So make sure you guys tune in and check it out. Not 100% sure he's going to be on the show yet, but I'll let you guys know as soon as that happens in the Friday cloud check. That being said, guys, if you haven't, made your, make your way over to my Facebook page if you want to enter in for that 500 sub giveaway. I'm probably going to let it run through to next Wednesday or next Friday and uh, do the drawing either on checking in with Janklin or I'll probably, I'll probably end up doing the drawing on my Facebook page itself for you guys so make sure you guys are like it and following that and then i'll go ahead and do that drawing there with that being said guys that's it thank you for joining me for the review i hope you enjoy it and yes yeah, and all those positive vibes and crisp high fives to you guys and let's just vape on y'all